Hey Plant Fam! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is not my jungle. It is my car. I was just jamming. My favorite band just came out with a new song, so that's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> it's a good day. It's Saturday. It's early in the morning. We are going to head over to Newington, Connecticut. I'm going to stop over at the Lowe's. I have a few other errands that I need to run in that area, so I figured it's been about two weeks since we were there last time. They had boxes of new plants that we weren't able to get ourselves into last time, so I'm hoping that they're going to have something good for us to check out. I'm not going to bother going to the Home Depot just because it is a little bit further and they literally never have anything. So we are just gonna hop over to the Lowe's in Newington and then, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll loop back around and stop at the Home Depot in West Hartford on the way back and see what they have. I'm not going to Walmart on a Saturday. <laughs> like, it is not happening. I'm doing this relatively early in the morning um, in hopes that there won't be too many people out. I don't really love going anywhere on the weekend, but we need a video and you're gonna see this literally later today so um yeah let's go to newington it's a bad hair day so i put on a hat and um thankfully it's not a million degrees out it's supposed to be like 80 next week here in connecticut which is like i'm not prepared for that because it's supposed to be like spring not summer um, let's head over to the lows in newington i think i'm gonna stop and get a smoothie first over at smoothie king it's been a while and your girl is hungry so let's do it hey garden center is open just very exciting hopefully they have something good okay so this is the Lowe's in Newington and it's looking pretty sad <laughs> Some really big Aglionema Silver Bay. This really sad fiddle. Look at it. It's trying so hard to grow. It looks super root bound. Um, that's kind of sad. It's cute though. Um, let's see what's back here behind all these palms. We have another one. Okay, maybe they're supposed to be like that. I don't know. They look cuter when they have foliage at the bottom um this is a literal mess there's bromeliads everywhere there's a zz raven this cute little fern in this ugly pot for $18.98 there is a little ficus audrey hanging out down here not looking the best <laughs> but that's fine there's some really sad being overwatered in this uh, wick and grow pot probably is what it looks like. Aglionema don't need to be in a self-watering container, in my honest opinion. Cute little ficus hanging out here from live trends. And more really sad. <laughs> like, what is this? It's being overwatered, I'm pretty sure. Um, a sea of bromeliads. This is why I don't like them. Does that not look terrifying? So if like a spider lives in there and it's just gonna like crawl out at any moment. Like that's just nasty. Not into it. Gross. Um, there's some little peperomias down here. These wick and grow pots are $15.98. Um, a peperomia is definitely a better option for a self-watering pot. These ferns as well. Um, and then they have a whole sea of peace lilies. These look like they're new because they look a lot healthier than the rest of the plants. There is a sneaky little Baltic blue hiding in here. Um, all of the succulents and stuff hanging out here this one's kind of cute 
You're cute. Crassula perforata variegata. Okay. That's fine. They do have a little cubic frost too, which is a really interesting looking echeveria type. Um, what else? This little calathea doesn't look terrible. Medallion from Live Trends for $15.98. This little pink pot. Um, let's check out what's over here. It looks like we just have a bunch of pothos hanging up. Um, I guess this is where they're keeping their trending tropicals. It's literally just all ZZ Ravens and little fiddle leaf figs. These are all $20. So these are fiddle leaf, um, these are the dwarf variety. So they're not going to get as tall as the ones we just saw and they do stay like a little bit more bushy the leaves stay smaller and like thinner so if you want one that doesn't grow into a tree that's definitely a good option there's some syngonium over here not really an exciting looking one how are these pothos so sad like it's just a pothos you guys I don't understand. There's tons of them and they all look really bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> hooray Lowe's. Um, let's see what's back here. We've got our assorted foliage. I really felt that they would have gotten more in the last few weeks. Some purple waffle, um, some little begonias. This is the, uh, what is it called? We just saw it at Paul's and Sandy's, and now I forget. It just says Rex Begonia, but Escargot, that's what this one is called, because it looks like a snail. <laughs> Another little Rex Begonia. They have a couple of these. They don't look terrible, but they definitely don't look good either. Some little China doll plants. They have some of these like fake uh, mossy things but it's not moss it's solanginella like the rainbow moss but this one's golden i think it looks like a little fro it's kind of cute um this looks like ivy but it's cute it's cute ivy and they still have one of these lipstick plants oh it's starting to bloom Oh no, I don't need it, but it's really pretty. Ascananthus, radicans. So cute. It's probably the only cute plant in here right now. The rest of them look dead. A little baby Shaflera. I need to get one of those for Norman in his enclosure when it gets, when he's upgraded to a bigger one. African violets. Um, yeah, it's looking like all of those Aglionema, the ghost frosted, these ones are gone for the most part, which is nice because that is a really pretty plant and I was hoping people would buy them. Tons of ferns that nobody cares about, obviously, because they're still here. This kangaroo paw fern is kind of cute. Uh, we have some urban jungle over here. They have the staghorn ferns. These actually look kind of good. $15.98, you guys know I've been digging this gray pot too. Waiting for them to go on clearance. They do have a little red maranta hiding back here and one of those alocasia pink something. Lots of Jersina. These are all like the live trends stuff right here. I did see these at Target too, which I think I posted. I'm pretty sure I posted it as a short if you guys wanted to check that out. Um, nothing really exciting over here either. Just a bunch of bromeliads that genuinely creep me out. Lots of different types of Jersina that I don't know the names of more peperomia 
They've got plenty of palm trees and snake plants if you're looking for those. And then over here, they have the live trends set up, which is where some of the cuter plants are. It's a little Hartley philodendron. They've got a pothos. Enjoy in these cute new hanging planters for $16.98. And then they have some syndapsis. The door is going to keep opening and closing because I'm right next to it, so I apologize for the noise. $14.98 for these. They're cute. This fern up here. There's this cute red maranta for $26.98. I'm not going to take it down because I don't want to drop it. It's really heavy. <laughs> And another fern, more Jersina over here, some air plants, uh, nothing new you guys, it's Peperomia obtusifolia, more Jersina, literally nothing exciting. And then over here we have um, some croton that nobody cares about because it's ugly. This one's cute though. This is some sort of Calathea. Um, I'm pretty sure these are like 26 for this pot. Not an ugly pot either, which is nice. Um, these are cute. It's little geometric pots for $10 with these cute little Haworthia in them. I kind of like these air plants. They look really nice inside of the reptile enclosures because you can kind of just plop them anywhere um yeah these little propagation things that have no water in them so the plants are dying <laughs> that's fine plants don't need water to survive another cute red maranta 22.98 for this hanging basket and then they have some more of these over here with some philodendron in it. This is the neon pothos, one of my favorites. This golden pothos needs a little bit of love. Um, another red maranta here, and then another cute little, um, what are you, pothos enjoy for $14.98 in this little terracotta with the hanging macrame. Probably the only cute thing that's in here today, to be honest. Um, let's check over here. Some more fiddle leaf figs. Looking okay, at least, I guess. Um, really sad palm trees, to be honest. Like, there's just, there's nothing good in here, you guys. This is a bust. There's just like a sea of Aglionimus uh, Silver Bay, which is legitimately my least favorite Aglionema. <laughs> so, there is that. Let's go check the um, cacti and succulents really quick. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, some cute cacti down here. Oh, here they have the Euphorbia obesa if you've been looking for one since i got mine not looking as good but like it's here there's a couple in here um ow i just got stabbed <laughs> so yeah there's a few of those if you've been looking for one of those they've definitely been popping up i see some variegated opuntias hiding back there um this is pretty cool I don't know what it is, but Kalanchoe, some random succulents over here, nothing super exciting. These ones are good for outdoors. The hens and chicks, Semper Vivum, they can handle a lot more cold weather than these other succulents can. Some really nice jade down here. And just more, more of the same stuff, the same cacti and stuff that we've been seeing. I see some old man cactus hiding back there. So if you guys are into the cacti and succulents the way that I am, 
They definitely have um, a decent selection. It could be worse. Like it, it could, it could be worse. Okay, fam. So, do I even have to say that that was a bust? I should have known. It's Newington, but I was hoping. I was hoping that it's been a few weeks since we were here and all the other big box stores have been getting new stuff. So wishful thinking, <laughs> I'm not gonna stop coming here. I'm gonna keep checking every few weeks. I'm, I've got every big box store on rotation. <laughs> so we are, we're gonna find something good. I mean, so far the Home Depot in Manchester has been like the best hands down compared to all the other big box stores they have all the new trending tropicals they have lots of other like fun stuff so if you missed that video you should definitely go and check it out i can link it for you up here over here i don't know but if you missed that one they definitely have some good stuff especially if you are somewhat local definitely um Keep your notifications on so that you know when I upload, I do get these up really quickly for you. Like you're literally gonna see this video today. So um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go to the Home Depot in West Hartford on my way home because that was just really sad. And hopefully they have something. They had Trending Tropicals like once and then I couldn't find them again. Like a week later, I was like, where did all the plants go? I don't understand so um yeah that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna get some food first though so I'm hungry there's literally a chick-fil-a like right in front of me <laughs> which is really tempting but we're not gonna eat chicken for breakfast <laughs> we're gonna go to smoothie king which is also like just right here so uh yeah I'm gonna run a couple errands and then I will meet you meet me at Home Depot okay okay I forgot how good these were. Mm. Mm. There used to be one really close to me in New York, and now this one in Newington is probably the closest, so I don't come very often, but whew, I forgot how good they were. Okay, let's go to Home Depot now that I'm all fueled up and ready to look at more dead and dying plants. Yay. We're at the Home Depot in West Hartford. In case you missed it. I'll probably say it like four more times too. <laughs> okay fam, voiceover Jackie is coming at you for this one because you know this Home Depot is always so loud and it was actually a little bit busy so uh, you know we're just ducking and diving and trying not to film anybody <laughs> and be weird. So this philodendron moonlight is looking absolutely stunning for $30 in these cute baskets. We've got some peace lilies, chiflera, fiddly fig, these really nice dracaena, and this plant that I don't know the name of, but I'm pretty sure it's in the prayer plant family. And they're all $40. Did I say $30? I think they're $40. $39 nine to something and then over here we have lots and lots of hanging baskets of Hartley philodendron whatever the heck and bob this is is pretty cute too then some assorted foliage over here we've got some palms some dracaena lots of little baby brazils for 548 regular Hartley philodendron some pothos We've got a little Marble Queen Pothos hiding in here, one of my favorites. This massive fire sticks hanging out right there as well. And then these little water props too. We have some Marble Queen, some Monstera Adansonii. And then over here, I'm happy to see these cute little plants. This is one of the Calathea that I don't know the name of. But look at these little baby Prince of Orange philodendron. They're so stinking cute. $8.98 and they're actually in a really nice pot too, in my opinion. I think it's pretty cute. And um, yeah, this one I don't know what it is. Macaulay's Finale, maybe something along those lines. But I really, really like the um, 
these baby prints of orange. Super cute. Lots of Adansonii as well. And then over here we had a really nice looking Alocasia Poly for $19.98. Is actually a pretty big one and I'm not mad about it um, not my favorite plant but it is really pretty we have some stromanthi trio star here for $20 a larger philodendron Prince of orange for the same price definitely not mad about all these philodendrons and then I found this little baby monstera deliciosa hiding down here and um, I just think it's really cute, so I put it back up in the top with the rest of the plants. And then through all of the spider plants here, there's like so many spider plants, it's ridiculous. There are some more gorgeous philodendrons. This Prince of Orange just put out this stunning orange leaf. Love it. Look at how beautiful that is. So pretty. <laughs> Please ignore my cat. This is the Philodendron Moonlight, also looking really nice and big. And then over here, I was like, what the heck is this plant doing? This is the Philodendron Birkin. It looks like it's reverting, but also like given a half moon. Like I, I actually don't know, but I took more footage of it and I'll put it in a short for you guys to check it out longer because I was totally baffled by it. Um, it was kind of pretty if it didn't come in all deformed. So $29.98 for this Calathea Orbifolia in this cute little woven basket. And then over here they had a really nice selection of Euphorbia and Cacti and Succulents. This is the Corn Cob Euphorbia for $24.98. Love that one. I think I have that one. I'm not sure. And then they have this really cool variegated lime looking agave rum runner for $24.98. It's a really nice one in my opinion. And then they have some brain rocks over here for $5.48. I tried to pull the tray out. It didn't work. It's fine. And then up here, I noticed some Euphorbia obesa, obesa. I don't know, but I have been seeing them pop up a lot. This is the second time we're seeing them now already today. So if you've been looking, definitely go and check your local big box store. They are coming in. So those ones are not as nice as the ones that I saw in Manchester, but they're not as bad as the ones we just saw at Lowe's either. So this cactus I thought was pretty cool. I know you're not all into cacti and succulents, but I am, so bear with me here. I think these are pretty cool, and you never know what you might find that you actually like. So cute little snake plant in there, and then I'm just trying to pull out this string of bananas for $12.98, if you're good at keeping those alive. So this was a really nice euphorbia hanging out over here as well, really full pot for a really good price. I don't know what the price is, but I don't think it's more than like $10. Um, and it's cute. Cute, cute, cute. Or I think it's $12, $12.98, I think the sign said. Um, and then we're just gonna take a peek at some of the other little succulents and things going on here, and that's it for the Home Depot. This is another weird euphorbia that I do have in my collection. Eve's Needle, or is it a Opuntia? Did that just say Opuntia? Look, I don't know, but this thing looks like, kind of looks like broccoli <laughs> a little bit. I don't know, but <laughs> it's pretty cool looking. And um, there's a little variegated Opuntia hiding back there. And then down here, I spotted this cute little bear paw, Cotyledon something or other. And it's fuzzy, and I'm kind of mad that I didn't get it because look at how cute it is. Isn't it cute? Oh my goodness. I had a variegated one, and I just like did not do well with it, so I feel like I'm going to kill it. And uh, that was my reasoning for not getting it. It was the only one. 
and it was really cute. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of mad I didn't get it. It's fine. Okay, fam. <laughs> so that was the Home Depot in West Hartford, Connecticut. They definitely had like better plants, in my opinion, than. The Lowe's in Newington. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let's play the game of which one was worse. <laughs> That's this kind of video. Um, I My vote is for the Lowe's in Newington. They just had like all of the same plants and none of them really looked good. So like, mm, you know, at least here they had some nice philodendrons. There's a whole bunch of Prince of Orange. Some of them were really, really nice. Um, and that's a gorgeous philodendron that I don't see very often, even like in the nurseries and stuff. So we had a really cute little Monstera Deliciosa that I moved from down below. It was hiding and I was like, why? I put it up on top of the table, all cozy in between the other plants. Cause I was like, someone's going to buy this, right? It's a Monstera Deliciosa. It's really cute. Um, and then I went about my filming and everything, which takes me a while. I'm not going to lie. So I was in there for a while and on my way out, I saw somebody carrying out the little Monstera Deliciosa and it made me really happy. I don't know why it made me so happy, but it just did. So, um, in case you were ever wondering, I do tend to <laughs> when I'm by myself and when I'm not like with David and he's waiting for me, um, I like to make the plants look better, rearrange them, put the cuter ones like that are hiding in back like in plain sight for people because the average person walking through there doesn't really know a lot about house plants and what they're called or like anything along those lines i've had a lot of conversations <laughs> with people in big box stores um yeah so i just i don't know i like to help and it makes me happy that somebody took that plant home. So hopefully they love it and um, it grows really nice and big for them. <laughs> I don't know if they know what they got themselves into with that, <laughs> with that plant, but um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. I had a really nice morning. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. I hope that you have a amazing holiday weekend with family, whatever you're doing. For Easter, even if you don't do anything, I still hope you have a really nice and relaxing weekend. I'm not going to have any uploads tomorrow since it is Easter Sunday and I will be traveling with my uh, boyfriend to go see my family. So, <laughs> anyway, you should give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, there's a lot of new people and um, hi. It's nice to meet you. Thank you for being here. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet and you've watched a few videos, you should do that. Just saying. Um, it helps me out. All that good stuff. Um, and then you don't miss anything. From me, uh, there's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam. Get yourself some perky perks. If not, there's a super thanks button if you guys want to super thanks me. Everything is appreciated. You know I can't do this without you. And I'm going to finish my smoothie and get home, edit this video for you, and I will see you soon. I love you. Bye. <laughs>